Yeah, we got some new shoes. They're these. These are so fire. From Five Below, I got this Solar Flare Body Butter. It's like the knockoff of Sol de Janeiro. From Charlotte Rue, I got this pink top. I got this exact same top, just in a light blue color. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Serena for those that may not know and welcome to today's video. So I actually was in the middle of filming this entire intro when my camera just decided to shut off. This literally happens every single time I have my camera on this tripod. When I try to like move the angle of the camera, my camera just shuts off. I really just think it's a camera issue. It literally just deleted my entirety of the first clip, which I'm low-key annoyed about, but I wasn't talking too, too much in that first clip, so it didn't delete much. But anyways, Hey everyone, happy Friday. It is currently August 9th. I was supposed to have work today at 4, 4.30, but they ended up postponing the game until tomorrow because of the weather. I look you feel bad for the workers there because they're having another double header, which those shifts are not easy to work because you're essentially working two games back to back. That's like eight hours in total. Tomorrow was just supposed to be one morning game, but now they probably won't end up leaving until like 10 p.m. or something like that. Luckily, I'm not working because today was technically my last day. Well, officially, I'm still an employee until Sunday, but my provider said today's my last day, so this is the last day that I would have been going, if that makes sense, and it's kind of bittersweet because if I would have known Wednesday was my last day, I would have said my goodbyes, you know, because I didn't end up working yesterday, which I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should just work today and then not work Friday, but I was like, let me give myself a break because Wednesday shift was a double header as well, two games back to back, and it was just, it took so much out of me that I just didn't want to go, and the people just truly pissed me off, so I'm just just saying my farewells from afar and who knows if i truly wanted to i can definitely go back for next season which i might just because i know it's temporary and the scheduling is very flexible so now that i'm not working today i have a lot of free time which i was not expecting so i of course didn't make plans because i was just expecting to go to work tonight but because i have this opening in time what i'm gonna do today is read now you're probably thinking girl you have whole friday off and you're telling me you're just gonna sit and read all day yes Yes, I am. For two reasons. One, I really, really want to go ahead and finish this book. This is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden, and it's pretty good. I've read other books of hers that are a little more fast-paced and actually get me itching to read. This one doesn't really have that factor for me yet. It's kind of a slow burn, which is different for her books. I just want to go ahead and finish it and see how everything plays out. So that's reason number one why I want to go ahead and finish this book, which I definitely could because I'm almost halfway through it. So we can definitely finish that book. I started this book like a week ago, so stopped reading it because I ended up reading The Graham Effect by L. Kennedy and then I came back to this book. I want to go ahead and finish that and then I also want to reread It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I have not read this book in about two years. If you remember earlier in my YouTube days, I was a fiend for Colleen Hoover. She was my favorite author. I just loved every single one of her books and I read them like so consistently. But then it got to a point where her books just kind of got repetitive and they just weren't good to me anymore. So I switched to different authors and now I have a whole variety on my bookshelf if you watched my last video you would know but I want to go ahead and reread this book because me and my sister are actually gonna go watch the movie it actually comes out today August 9th but we're gonna go Sunday and watch the movie because we both read the book we both thoroughly enjoyed this book and I would love to see how it comes to play on the big screen because I know Justin Baldoni directed the movie he directed five feet apart he was in Jane the Virgin like he does so many great amazing projects Projects that I'm so interested to see how he went ahead and directed this plus he plays one of the main characters in the book I'm going in with no expectations and I'm really trying not to let tiktok spoil it for me because there's so many people talking about it on tiktok as soon as you open the comments someone has something to say and I'm just trying to scroll past it and not spoil it because I really want to go in with no expectations I really want to reread this book because I want to also see how many similarities and differences there are between the movie and the book just because I haven't read this book in so long not saying that I forgot out what it's about because honestly this book is so impactful
impactful that you can't forget what happened in the book but there are little things that you know over the two years of me reading I don't remember so I do want to refresh my memory and just be a little more prepared for Sunday's viewing of the movie so hopefully I'm able to finish this book by Sunday if I started reading this book right now and I've read the entire day plus tomorrow ish or most of Sunday I'll definitely be able to finish it but we have to be a little realistic here because I do have other things that I need to get done today one thing that was always consistent in Colleen Hoover's books is that once you start reading you can't stop it has such a good pace to it and such good storylines from time to time that you just can't put it down and this was one of those that I literally read so freaking quick because it had one of those fast paced easy impactful stories so I'm not surprised if I can be able to finish this in like a day or so so I think how I'm gonna go about it is I'm gonna be reading these books simultaneously I'll read some from here read some from here I'm also gonna try to find the audiobook for this so I can listen to this while I do other things around the house I'm gonna go ahead and start picking up this reading we're gonna low-key have a reading marathon today and see how much I can read for each so yeah that's my plan for today tomorrow's gonna be a pretty exciting day because I'm going to a rooftop party we're doing big girl things okay my sister just booked the tickets last weekend and she was like we're going out be ready oh I'm so excited so stay tuned let's go ahead and start our reading marathon and I'll update you guys once I get a couple chapters down the line for about an hour ish now i'm taking a little break i finished part one in this book so it's part two i'm really excited to see how it plays out because the author is changing the perspective now i'm definitely more intrigued i'm more than halfway done with this book i'm on 192 i'm actually about to put that in my grid read so i can see exactly what percentage i'm on i'm 58 percent through this book but yeah i'm gonna take a little break because i'm starting to get a little hungry i had a very light breakfast so we're gonna go ahead and go to the kitchen i'm gonna make some chicken breast chunks for lunch and continue reading this book as i do so but i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update just let y'all know where i'm at i read eight chapters so eight chapters in an hour is pretty good especially because her chapters are pretty short yeah but let's go ahead and make some lunch before we end up passing out <laughs> You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30 day trial before I make my mind to this whole waste. Trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main is child for now. Child, child. She got me wildin' now. Worry a tie, your child for now. Child, child. She making ass shake, breaking that bait till the bait break. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning everyone. It is the next day now. It is 11.23 in the morning and I just finished getting ready because I'm about to head to the mall with my siblings. They need new sneakers and then I just need to find an outfit for tonight. We're just gonna go over to Bay Plaza real quick because that's where I actually got my vans for a cheaper price. If you saw my shopping vlog, you know. I'm hoping they're still open because it's been a couple weeks since then. I would hate to go all the way down there just for them to have officially closed but fingers crossed they're still open. So we're just gonna go do that, find an outfit. Come back and get ready so for tonight me and my sister are going to this rooftop restaurant bar type of thing essentially they are playing like r&b afro beats that type of music you drink you socialize and stuff like that so we're gonna go and i'm excited but nervous because i don't do stuff like this i'm not good when it comes to socializing with people i prefer to stay in the confines of my house if need be but i just have to remind myself that i'm literally 22 i'm young i should be out i should be exploring that's what we're doing tonight so i'm excited to see how that all plays out first thing first we need to find an outfit because i literally have nothing to wear so outfit of the day shirt is from charlotte ruse jeans are from 
I think Charlotte Rouge also. I was gonna wear sandals, but my toes are not looking cute right now. So hopefully I can find some like press on toenails and just stick them on for tonight. I'm about ready to go. We're gonna head out in like 20 minutes. But yeah, a little update. Yesterday I ended up finishing The House Made by Frida McFadden. I see the twist in that book I was not expecting, but I do feel like the entire book dragged. Like it didn't have to be as long as it did. But I definitely did not expect the twist. So I'm excited to read the other books in that series because it's like three books in the series if you will but i am taking a break from that book to continue reading it ends with us i read two chapters yesterday i'm hoping to get at least halfway through this book before the movie tomorrow because i don't think i'm gonna be able to finish this before the movie given everything i have to do but it's okay anyways yeah so we're gonna head out hopefully we find some good things and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit I ended up getting some new sneakers, which I was not going to do. I literally went in there with the intentions of just getting my brothers their sneakers. And I was not going to get sneakers. But then I saw these and I had to get them. I don't know when my obsession with Nike Dunks came to be. But it's like every single time I see Nike Dunks, I just have to have them. So guess what I bought? Nike Dunks. <laughs> these literally, I wasn't even searching for myself. Like I literally was not looking for myself. And then I saw these and I'm like, whoa. It's a sign. It's the same thing that happened when I got these. This was like one of the last shoes I saw and I was like, I have to have those. Yeah, we got some new shoes, some Nike Dunks. They're these. <laughs> these are so fire. It has the red Nike logo and then it has this speck of blue on the back. I'm pretty sure I saw these the last time I went, but I didn't like pay too much attention to them. So that's why I didn't end up getting them. There's a fly in my room, don't mind that. But I saw them today and I was like, yeah, I have to get them. I kind of wish it was just the black, the red, and the blue and no white, but this works. This is so freaking cute and I can't wait to pair these. If you know me, you know black is my color, so it'll be easy to style these. I'm chalking this up to being my back to school shoe. And plus these were only $50 because like I said, we went to the store that's closing soon they're closing at the end of the year i asked this time i have like one or two more chances to go back in there and get me another pair of shoes if i really want to so yeah 50 bucks that's a steal one of my brothers got his two shoes the other one only got one because we couldn't really find a lot of options for him from five below i got this solar flare body butter it's like the knockoff of sol de janeiro no one got money to be spending that much it smells pretty similar ish and plus i never really had a body butter so we're gonna see how this works and then i just got my perfume if you know you know from the beauty supply store i got these nails these first on nails and then i got these acrylic toes i'm about to put on hopefully i have time to and then i just got a new mascara because the one i have is running pretty low so we needed to restock and then finally from charlotte ruse i got this pink top which i think i'm gonna wear tonight with some light colored jeans i got this exact same top just in a light blue color that's everything that i got from the mall it is currently 7 24 we're about to start getting ready to head to this event and hopefully it's good because i'm not gonna lie i caught the itis so now i'm just tired i'm gonna get ready and then i'm gonna show you guys the final outfit sorry i'm just scared of the future till 2005 i got your back we can do this hold up no matter what you say what you do when i'm alone i'd rather be with you Baby, I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. 
till then I'll sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way hey guys happy sunday everybody it is 2 47 in the afternoon and today me and my sister are gonna go watch it ends with us and i'm so excited to see this movie because the book was heartbreaking so real so like brutally honest and i remember after i finished reading it i told my sister like you have to read this book you just have to so she ended up reading it and she felt similar like i did after i finished the book i believe 6 10 is the start time for the movie so we're gonna go ahead and watch it it's two hours which i was not expecting Thing. so i definitely need to bring snacks i need to bring my blanket i need to bring these glasses or else my eyes finna hurt halfway through and yeah we're gonna go really comfy today because it's a long movie so the game plan is to wear this pink shirt i was gonna wear this last night when we went to the bar but i changed last minute the game plan is to wear this shirt and, and then i'm literally just gonna throw sweats with that and that's what i'm gonna wear to the movies that is gonna be the game plan for today we got our names on the guest list I can't forget your name, always had it on a necklace She's a new phone, who this? As soon as I text it I'm gonna do a haul of what we got from Dollar General We got some mini vanilla wafers We got a five pack of ramen This is for later Not for today, I just got it because it was five pack for $1.50 We gonna get something, y'all yeah, what? <laughs> Nothing, I'm joking. I'm joking. What relax. are you insinuating? Tell the vlog. <laughs> Next, I got some honey barbecue Frito, the twist chips. These are the best Frito chips. Fight with your mama, not me. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I got some vanilla cookies. Got me a Snapple to drink. And then, the, oh, and then we got some Sour Patch Watermelon candies. That's her recent obsession. Oh, and, and the Dr. Pepper, the Blue Dr. No, okay. Pepper. So yeah, that's everything we got. I'm gonna put these in a Ziploc bag because if I try to open this, even if I pre-open it, it's still gonna be not loud. So I'd rather have it in a Ziploc bag. These three are gonna be my movie snacks because the movie is two hours long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, chill until the movie starts, and then we'll give you our honest review afterwards. of it ends with us last night i'm not gonna include any spoilers but i'm just gonna do a little bit of a recap from last night because i didn't even have a chance to talk about it and i'm gonna do this recap while i take down these braids it is about time that they go it's long overdue my hair needs to be washed and all the good things so let me make sure i'm not cutting my actual hair though off the bat there were just a lot of things that i noticed were different in the movie than in the book and i mean this in terms of a lot of significant stuff that happened in the book was not in the movie and i feel like that's what made the movie lack a lot of things not having these significant things to someone who has never read the book it just seems like a typical movie but when you have read the book and you know the deeper meaning you know that certain things are essential to the movie because other things wouldn't come about if it wasn't for this one specific scene you know this movie is really good for someone who hasn't read the book if you're just going in there to watch a movie it's a pretty good movie i just feel like you want to get the full picture that's the thing with a lot of these movie adaptations they don't tell a lot of the significant things so it makes the movie feel like it's lacking when the movie has potential to be one of the greatest going into this movie like i said i had no expectations i really was just going in there to see i just cut my hoodie oh no i literally just cut the string to my hoodie oh well but yeah i didn't look at any reviews or anything like that i really wanted to just formulate my own opinion about the movie and not feel like i'm pressured to say or like feel some type of way because that's what people were saying of how other people felt about the movie first of all the movie was very long it is two hours and 10 minutes you would think for them to have a movie that's two hours that it would encompass a good chunk of the book granted there's a lot that happens in the book that you wouldn't be able to fit in a movie but i was like okay two hours they should be able to put a pretty good chunk of the book in the movie that's what i was expecting the first half of the movie was honestly pretty good i will say the second half of the movie i feel like it was very rushed i feel like they just tried to include things that not that they weren't necessary but that they could have skimmed through and then actually targeted the things that was meant 
to show in the film that has significance. I feel like the second half of the movie, the cutoff was bad. Like the transitioning was off. That's when I really started to put two and two together that they were taking out a lot of stuff that happened in the book that was of major significance. Another thing that did throw me off was just the depiction of the characters was not what I envisioned, especially the main character, Lily. I feel like the way she was written in the book was not properly portrayed in the movie. I don't know what Blake Lively was thinking when she was doing this role but one thing i will say is that she kept like giggling every five seconds and it was pissing me off because i'm like girl what are you doing like it was crossing over to cringy territory because she just kept giggling in every single sentence and i understand it was supposed to be played off as being nervous and being anxious but this girl was just giving like she was on something low-key and i don't understand it i just feel like every time i saw blade she was really trying to make it a romantic comedy and even when we was in the theater there were people laughing at times and i'm like this is not supposed to be funny this is not supposed to be a heartfelt moment this is supposed to be like heartbreak i didn't feel heartbroken a lot throughout this movie which reading the book my heart was hurting for her and i didn't really feel that watching the movie and i feel like that's why it takes away from the overall symbolism of the book apparently there's like two cuts to the movie because blake lively was trying to make it a rom-com justin was trying to make it a actual depiction of the book and i would love to see his version i feel like it would make so much more sense than blake lively's version it is a very good movie if you've never read the book and you're just going to the movie theater to watch a movie but as far as like the deeper meaning and actually getting into the nitty gritty that you're supposed to it did not give did i enjoy watching it yes would i watch it again no but i don't regret watching it yeah that's like my little recap <laughs> or whatever of the movie after we did that we just came back home we got some chinese food and then went to bed nothing else happened yesterday with that being said i'm gonna continue taking down my hair and i'm gonna do that off camera just know next time you see me these braids will be gone i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because i have to start filming another video for a brand that's supposed to be up on friday and honey we're backed up on video we'll see how this goes but i really want to just take down my hair and get it over with if you guys enjoyed today's weekend in my life please let me know down below we tried some new things this weekend that you know took us out of our comfort zone allowed us to have some fun and check things off of my bucket list hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe follow me on my other social medias which is always linked down below and i'll see you guys soon with a new video Give me a run for money. There is no money, no one